Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Miriam Manzo. Today we are going to be talking countertops. We're going to be talking the pros and cons of various materials that I usually spec in my projects and that are the most common for people to use in their especially kitchens, but in some cases, bathrooms too. So we are here in my pizza house. For those of you who have not seen the full tour, I'll leave the link here. This is where um, we do our pizzas. We have the pizza oven behind me. So the countertop that was selected for this space needed to be extremely durable. It also needed to be able to withstand high heats. So this is quartzite. This is one of the hardest materials that you can get in a natural stone. It is harder than granite. It is, um, as I mentioned, able to withstand high heats. So behind me here, you see that we have it butting right up to the pizza oven opening. And you can see if, it, um, I'm not sure from there, there are a couple of spots where we see a little bit of darkening of the stone, but it can withstand that. The pressure um, that is naturally occurring to make quartzite is what gives it that hardness, um, as well as the heat that is naturally used to make this product um, in nature. This is a natural stone product, so that is why it's able to withstand all the high heats as well as um, have the hardness. You're seeing this beautiful veining here. This is created when the heat causes um, the stone to form, the pressure that is put on that stone, and that's how you get this beautiful veining. So one of the um, pros for me with quartzite, on top of the fact that it's such a beautiful stone, is the coloring. They are mostly available in lighter colors so the beiges to the gray and you can see with the Taj Mahal it's not quite a gray and it's not quite a beige now keep in mind with any natural stones you're going to get variation from slab to slab um, and also from block to block so let's talk about what that means the stones are quarried in blocks which are then um, sliced into our countertop thickness materials. So what that means is that if you need a continuation of the veining or the coloring, you're gonna wanna make sure that you purchase all your slabs from the same block because the next block may have very different colorings as well as very different vein patterns. So that is one of the cons to using natural stones is that there really isn't a consistency uh, between slabs to slab. If you realize a year later that you wanna add on and do more slabs, you're not going to get a good match. So another con for quite quartzite, it is quite expensive. It's on par to granites and some of the marbles, but the actual fabrication costs is more expensive because it's such a hard material, it requires special blades to cut through. So let's head inside and we'll talk more countertop stone materials. Let's talk marble, the con. Everybody's afraid of marble for three reasons, etching, scratching, and staining. Scratching can easily be avoided by using a cutting board when uh, chopping and cutting your food products. I recommend this with any countertop because any countertop is susceptible to knives. Etching happens when the polished finish of the stone is etched away by acids coffee, uh, tomato sauce, wine, lemon juice, that sort of thing. The acid etch is the stone. And then staining is another big one because marble especially is one of the softer stones, it's very porous. So if you spill something on it and you leave it to sit there, it is going to be absorbed by the stone and that's how you get the staining. There's a simple way to remedy that. I want to thank our sponsor, Laticrete, for sending over their Stone Tech sealing products. So, heavy duty sealer, bulletproof sealer, and also a quartz and porcelain sealer. What this product does is it's going to help minimize the staining and sealing by 
providing a barrier on the stone, sealing it literally in order so that the stone is not absorbing those materials. Now, this is not just for countertops, I want to point out. This can be used in your bathroom floors, your shower walls, your shower floors, um, anywhere where you have a stone product. Um, and there's even a grout sealer that can be placed on because that's another area that really shows staining quickly. So these products are so easy to use. They are applied to the um, countertop or to the stone surface. You allow the product to absorb into the stone without drying. A second coat is then applied and the process is repeated. Now, I personally like to do a third coat. When I see that the stone is no longer absorbing the sealing material, that's when you know it is sealed. You're going to wipe that down and then you're going to allow 24 to 72 hours for the sealer to cure. Once that has happened, you are now good for, depending on the um, usage of your stone tops, six to 12 months. Now, I find that the biggest deterrent or uh, problem with the sealers is really that we forget to use them, not that the products aren't doing their job. So I recommend leaving them under your counter or with your basket of cleaning products so that it is always at the forefront of your mind. And this will give you the confidence to use these stone materials without the worry of um, whether or not they are going to be damaged by everyday use. And they enhance the beauty of the stones. Um, and again, so easy to use. Now I wanna show you the sealer in action. So I'm actually going to take a little bit of coffee and I'm gonna show you what happens. If I pour the coffee on the marble, we're gonna give that a minute and see. Once I wipe it away, you're gonna see there is no stain. So the other finish that I wanna talk about is a leather finish. And you've heard me talk about this finish in the project that I, the kitchen I waited 35 years to renovate. The leather finish in a darker finish like this granite you can see is really gonna give you a bulletproof um, finish, and I'll tell you why. It's going to eliminate the scratching and it's going to eliminate the etching. And then because it's properly sealed, you're going to eliminate the staining as well. So in a darker stone like this granite, the finish, the leather finish really shows up a lot more. But here in the marble, I've got the same finish and you can see it's a very subtle finish, but the extra edge of durability is really incredible. So with granites, now harder than marble, less porous, less resistant to scratch because of that, um, less resistant to staining. The problem with granite, why we've sort of shied away from that, um, especially right now trend-wise, is they are usually darker colors and very, very busy uh, as opposed to our quartzite and marble materials. Again, if you have a granite countertop and you want to make it look more current, I suggest you have somebody come in and hone the finish down. I don't believe the leather finish can be do done on site, but honing it can be done. And what honing does as well as the other items I mentioned is that it softens the graining and the intensity of the color. So I'm just gonna wipe this down here. That coffee's been sitting for a while just so that we don't think, well, you have to clean it immediately. And you can see there is no staining there. It is completely, the product sat on top without damaging the marbles. So our next most popular countertop material are the quartzes. Now, again, we mentioned earlier, there's a difference between quartzite and quartz. quartz quartzite is a natural stone. Quartz, we've now moved to a man-made product. So the beauty with all stones is they are heat resistant. You can put a hot pot on them. Um, with quartz, you cannot. The resins that hold the material together will burn, so you cannot put a hot pot. A lot of people have a misconception about that. 
And then a lot of people also think that it will not scratch or stain, which is not true. And that's why we need the sealing product. They absolutely can stain. Um, they are durable though. Again, the compression that happens is what gives them their durability. Now remember, all of these items can crack if they're hit in a certain way. Some are going to crack less than others. Um, but in terms of cost now, quartz is going to be one of your um, best bets if you want a stone looking product, if you don't want to use a laminate. Quartz is going to be where you're going to be uh, the starting point for price. And then the other material that is really gaining in popularity right now is porcelain. Now we've talked about porcelain floors and it's the same idea with porcelain countertops. One of the pros to a porcelain countertop um, doesn't scratch, doesn't stain, is heat resistant and it can also be used outdoors because it has UV protect, uh, is UV protected. So eventually granite, stones, all of those stuff can get discolored by the sun. Porcelain does not. Cold temperatures, hot temperatures, extremes in temperatures will not um, cause any damage to a porcelain product. Now, in terms of price, porcelain is actually one of the cheaper ones that you can buy, even more so than your quartz. The problem is because it is such a hard material, again, special machines and cutters are needed to fabricate it. So your price now is going to go up to at least the cost of granite, sometimes even the cost of marbles. And within our marbles, we have a huge price range. So we're not gonna really be talking price per square foot for this video um, because there is such a difference and, and there are trends in stones. Um, right now, Calcutta a few years ago uh, was very, very, very popular as a stone for the kitchen. Right now we're seeing the trend with very highly um, um, marbles that have a lot of movement to them. So high contrast marbles, a lot of colored marbles are really popular right now. So with the porcelain, again, you can get, they're a really good um, replica for a lot of marbles because of the finish that's put on them. It gives them the same luster as, as polished marble, um, but they are far more durable than really all of the products we've talked about today. Now, the problem with them as a countertop is that Whereas your marbles and granites and quartzites come in a two centimeter or three centimeter thickness, porcelains come in a six millimeter or 12 millimeter. The 12 millimeter is really what you need if you want to do an undermount sink. I do not recommend doing a six millimeter because you are going to see cracking happening, especially where that sink is. And because the color doesn't, or the pattern doesn't go all the way through, you're going to um, notice that finish and then because it cracks, you're gonna see that it, it, it'll start absorbing water and again, it could explode. So go for the 12 millimeter in a counter top. Now, having said that, I have used six millimeters. Um, I happen to have an installer who's incredible at doing this and there have been no issues, but I let the client know that there is a possibility and if they've fallen in love with a six millimeter slab, they have to know that that is a possibility. So where you can go 12 millimeter, that is going to push your price up a little bit again. In terms of our edges now, you've heard of built bullnose and OG and different um, edges for stones. That can only be used for your natural materials. When you come to a quartzite uh, or a quartz product and a porcelain, you're really better off with either a bull no nose or a straight finish. And in order to get that um, thicker countertop look, you're just going to have your fabricator miter the edges and that makes it look like you've used a thicker material. And these two products actually miter beautifully, so that is no problem. Porcelain is usually what you see when you see a waterfall counter. So where the counter comes across the top and then goes down the sides. Again, it can be done with any of your products here, um, but cost, 
prohibitive is usually what stops people from doing that. There are other countertop materials such as soapstone, onyx, and cement. We're going to uh, deal with those in a future blog since they're not quite as common as the products I've talked about today. Don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell icon to be notified of future videos, and then don't forget to like and comment. Let us know your thoughts and what are your favorite countertop materials and why. Thanks for watching. I'm Miriam Manzo. We'll see you next time.